In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fully optimize your PC so you can squeeze every last drop of performance out of your system and make your games run super smooth. In this video, we are going to be covering how to optimize your GPU, your CPU, your RAM and your network so you can get the best FPS, lowest input delay and best ping out of your system. And just before we do start the video, this guide isn't just for Fortnite, this will work for every game. So make sure to stick to the end of the video so you don't miss any of the tweaks, but let's get into the video. The first thing we're going to be optimizing is our graphics card, so we're going to be doing this in the NVIDIA control panel. So to open this, right click on the desktop and head down to the NVIDIA control panel and open this up. And inside here on the left hand side, you will see adjust image settings with the preview. You want to click on this and then the middle option will say use the advanced 3D image settings. Make sure this one is selected and it is applied. And once you've done that, you want to click the blue take me there button. Once you're in here, we're going to be changing these settings so we can get the best performance out of our system. The first thing we're going to be changing inside here is going to be the OpenGL GDI compatibility. You want to make sure this is set to preferred performance. Then just underneath that OpenGL rendering GPU, make sure your graphics card is selected for this option. Then the one underneath that power management mode. Make sure this is set to prefer maximum performance. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we'll be able to see texture filtering. Make sure this is set to high performance. And then just underneath that, you'll see threaded optimization. Make sure this is turned on. Everything else can just be left at default. You don't need to mess around with those. But then after that, we're going to be clicking apply in the bottom right. And then we're going to be heading up here to program settings and clicking on this. And this idea, we're going to be doing a hidden tweak not many people know of. So if you click add and then you head down to browse, then you click on this PC, click on your C drive, head down to Windows, then scroll down to the very bottom and click on Explorer and click open. And on here, you scroll down to power management mode, which should be right here. You're gonna set this to prefer maximum performance. What you need to do is just click this and click prefer maximum performance, then click apply in the bottom right. To configure surround physics and making sure our physics processor is set to our graphics card and not our CPU, so make sure you select your graphics card and click apply in the bottom right. And the last thing we need to do inside here is head over to the left, click on adjust desktop size and position and make sure you set both of your monitors to no scaling. Doing this reduces the amount of input delay on your monitor, making it feel much, much nicer. Once you've done all this, you can click apply and you can exit out of the NVIDIA control panel. The next thing we're going to be doing is clicking the windows key and typing in game, then clicking on game mode settings right here. And if you're on Windows 10 or 11, make sure you turn on game mode. And then if you head over here to the right hand side, you'll see graphic settings. Click on this and make sure you turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Just underneath this, you'll see all of the apps that you can add onto your PC to run them as high performance, which I'd highly recommend doing. So I'll give you guys an example with Fortnite. I'm going to add Fortnite onto here and run it as high performance always. So to do this, you'll click browse, head over to your C drive, Find where your game is located, so if it's Fortnite, it'll be Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and then we'll see Fortnite right here. All you need to do is click Add, click on the options, and make sure you select High Performance for this, click Save, and it can exit out of these settings. The last thing we're going to be doing to optimize our graphics card is open up the NVIDIA app. If you have this installed on your PC, head over to Drivers, and make sure you're on the latest driver. So as you can see, mine needs an update. All you need to do is click download and once it's downloaded you just need to click install and you can do the express installation to update your graphics driver. But before we continue with the tweaks, I want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is a tweaking service that offers all of these different tweaking packages with tons of positive reviews and they're also super cheap. I would definitely recommend going and checking them out as after I used these extreme tweaks and compared them to a stock windows I was getting about a 150 FPS boost so I would definitely recommend checking those out. I'll leave the link in the description and if you are purchasing them make sure to use code RUFFY and you can save 15% off any pack. Now we're going to be optimizing our CPU so the first optimization for the CPU we're going to be searching in system configuration opening this up heading over to boot clicking on advanced options making sure you tick the box that says number of processors if it's unticked you won't be able to change this so make sure it's ticked drop this down and select the maximum number of processors once you've done that click ok click apply click ok and that is the first tweet done the next cpu tweet we're going to be heading over to our task manager heading over to startup and disabling any apps we don't want opening when our pc boots up so for me i don't have anything enabled in here as i like manually opening things when my pc turns on 
I don't need it opening on its own. So go through and disable everything you don't want opening and can exit off the task manager. Now the next CPU tweak we're going to be doing is changing all of our windows settings to put less strain on our CPU and focus it more on the game. So click windows I to open up your settings, head over to system, head over to notifications and make sure all of the notifications are turned off and all of these boxes are unticked. Then you want to head down to focus assist and make sure focus assist is turned off. Then we're going to be heading down to about and on the right hand side here you'll see advanced system settings. You want to click on here, inside here press settings on the performance menu, click on adjust for best performance, then click custom and the only three things you need to enable inside here is smooth edges of screen fonts, show thumbnails instead of icons and I like to have animate windows when minimizing and maximizing. This one you don't really need, you only really need these two but I would recommend having this as it does make things look a lot nicer. Once you've done that, click apply, click ok and you can close out of the settings. Now the next CPU tweet we're going to be doing is clicking the Windows key and typing in services and opening this up. Inside here click in anywhere and click in the letter S on your keyboard, heading down to sysmain, double clicking on this, making sure it's set to disabled and the service is stopped, then click in apply and ok, then you can exit out of the services. Now the last CPU tweet we're going to be doing is unparking all of our CPU cores. So you want to head over to Google page and search up Park Control. I'll leave this link in the description as well. You just need to click this blue download button that says download Park Control. Once this is open, you just need to run through the setup. And once it's open, you want to make sure parking is turned off, frequency scaling is turned off. On the left hand side and on the right hand side, you want to make sure both are set to off and both are set to 100%. And once you've done that, just click apply and all of your calls will be unparked. Once you've done that, you can click OK. You don't need to run that in the background. You don't even need it on your computer anymore. So you can just uninstall it. Now we're going to be optimizing our network so we can get lower ping in any game. So to do this, click the Windows key and search for the control panel. Open this up. And then inside here, you want to click on network and internet. Head up to network and sharing center. Click on ethernet or Wi-Fi in blue here. Click on properties. And inside here, all you need enabled is Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6. So once you've disabled everything else, click OK, click back onto Properties. Then you want to click on Internet Protocol version 4, head down to Properties, click on Advanced, click on Wins. It makes you disable NetBIOS over TCP slash IP. Click OK. Then on this option here, we're going to be using the following DNS server. We're going to be finding the best DNS. So to do this, search for the command prompt and run this as an administrator. Then inside here, type in ping 8.8.8.8, again click enter. And as you can see, we get an average of 10 ms. Then you want to do the same thing for 1.1.1.1 and click enter. And as you can see, we get an average of 8 ms for this. So I'm going to be typing in 1.1.1.1 on the top row and then on the bottom row 1.0.0.1. If you get a better average for 8, it's going to be 8.8.8.8 on the top row and 8.8.4.4 on the bottom row. Once you've done that, click validate settings upon exit, click OK. Then we're going to be heading over to the Internet Protocol version 4, clicking on configure, clicking yes. So this box pops up, clicking on advanced, we're going to be changing some of the settings inside here. So the first one we're going to be making sure disabled is green ethernet. Make sure green ethernet is disabled. Energy efficient ethernet, make sure this is disabled. Advanced EE is also disabled. IPv4 checksum offload is disabled. Large send offload for IPv4 and 6 are both disabled. TCP and UDP checksum offload for IPv4 and 6 are all disabled. Speed and duplex is set to the highest and not set to auto. So it'll be either 1 gig, 2.5 or 5 gigabytes. Just set to the highest. Then scroll down to the bottom and make sure wake on magic packet is disabled. Wake on pattern match and all these wake on settings at the bottom are disabled. Then head over to power management and make sure all of these boxes are unticked. Once you've done that, click OK. You can exit off the network settings. And the last thing we're going to be doing for our ping is searching for the command prompt again. Running this as an administrator. And inside here, type ipconfig space slash flush DNS. Click enter. Your DNS will be flushed. So it renews and all the cache is cleared. Once you've done that, you can exit out of this and you can restart your PC. That is going to be everything for this video guys. I do hope it helped you out and if it did make sure to drop a like and subscribe but thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.